Okay guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm gonna show you how to download and to play Pacific Rim the video game on your personal computers or laptops. First of all, you're gonna need an archive with the game. The link you can see on your screen and I add it into the description and into the comment section of my video under this video. Once you go to this link, you will see this screen. You'll see a blue button download with the size of the archive. Yes, the game is inside of the archive and you need to download the archive. Once you press the download, the download should start immediately. I already have this one, so I don't need to download it. Once the game is downloaded, the archive, I mean, you're gonna need to unpack it onto your desktop or anything place else where you want to. I've already unpacked this place. Here we have one folder and one WinRAR archive with the game. You need to unpack this archive and you'll see the folder with the same name as the archive. You need to go there. Ah, damn it, I forgot where to go. Yes, this way. You need to go to this way. Default.exex. This is the file of the game you need to play. However, you won't be able to play without an emulator. You need to download Xenia Canary emulator from GitHub. I'll leave the link to download it as well in the description and in the comment section under this video. You need to download this Xenia Canary point zip. And as well as you already unpacked Pacific Rim Xbox 360 DLCs plus Anibaba game, you need to unpack that RAR archive as well. Alright guys, here's another deal. If you don't have any gamepad or joystick or game controller, you're gonna need to do something with it. And we have another option. First of all, you're gonna need to download touch server for your computer. The link I'll leave as well as the other links under the video's description and the comment section. And touch client for your device phone as well. Once you've downloaded them, you need to install them. Or I don't remember exactly what you need to do, but I've already unpacked touch server. Here it is. Here. You need to launch it. Here's the tutorial on how to use it. You can see host address of your device, I mean personal computer or laptop, and host name, the name of your computer or laptop. As you can see, server was already started, but no device is connected yet. To connect a device, as I said early, you're gonna need to download touch client for your phone device. It's an Android application, which can be connected to a PC using Wi-Fi or USB tethering connection. And then you can use your phone, Android phone, as the controller for the game. So, let me show it right now. Okay, one moment. I can find this thing. Damn it, where's the recording? Ah, damn it, sorry. Wrong button. Here, found it. Okay. Oh, damn it. I can't still yet do that. Oh, or can I? Alright, guys. You're gonna need to turn on your Wi Fi on your phone, or you're gonna need a special 
option on your phone which is connection point from your phone you can get a Wi-Fi for your personal computer or laptop and once they're connected or one thing guys you can connect your phone Android phone and uh, your computer or laptop you can connect them oops sorry here we go again ah damn it one moment here as you can see I've already connected my phone to this via touch server and touch client you can see on the screen of the, my phone that there's a lot of options to use your phone as a controller. You need to choose Xbox controller option. Here, it's done. Finally, you can play your Pacific Rim game that you've downloaded. But you're gonna need to use Xenia Canary as I said before. I already have one, so I don't need to download it. Here, I'm using Xenia Canary Netplay. To play Pacific Rim the video game on your device, you're gonna need to go to File, Open, oops, sorry guys, ah, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Not now. Ah, perfect. Sorry. You're gonna need to go to File, press Open. Then you're gonna need to find the folder you unpacked from the archive of the Pacific Rim video game. Go into the folder I showed you before and then you need to find as I said before file named default xax it's the file of the game and you need to use it the, to use this file to download and play the game on Xenia Canary emulator all right guys it's done I hope you understood everything that I said. If you have any questions, leave your questions under this video in the comments. And don't forget to leave like, don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. Alex here. See you again.